Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, we're going to talk about DuckTales. Woohoo. Well, lots of things. Lots of things. Disney Afternoon. Disney Afternoon is coming to Disney Plus. We're going to talk about Disney Plus. We're going to talk about some of the shows coming to Disney Plus. We're going to talk about the announcement that uh, the Disney Afternoon is coming. We're going to talk about, uh, you know, how much Disney is betting on Disney Plus and if it's going to affect their stock. We're going to talk about Bob Iger resigning from Apple's board of directors. Yeah, that's interesting. Because of Apple Plus. So we're going to talk about a lot of pluses. The pluses and minuses of, of Disney Plus, right? All right. Okay, so before we get into the video, please subscribe, guys. If you haven't subscribed already, we hit... I don't know if we're at 60,000 yet. We're close to it. We're hoping for 100,000. We're not the there year. yet. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. So you guys have been really awesome. Again, this is how primarily how you guys are going to find our content because YouTube has changed their algorithm again. And they changed it uh, not for the better for smaller creators like us. You really have to subscribe to the channel to make sure that you get to see. And even um, then you don't probably us. get notices half the time. People don't. They're like, we're not get, We're subscribed. We rang the bell we don't get the notifications just check every day because i guarantee you there'll be content there will be new content every day uh we we can almost guarantee like this it. let's talk about it okay so uh you did a story on this disney afternoon shows coming to disney plus including gargoyles which right. has been missing for quite some that's time that's why i want to talk about it because well first of all i did this on on my disney blog which is pirates and princesses.net um just, just making sure i put that out there in case you missed it pirates and princesses.net but anyway i wanted to cover this the other day because there was an announcement that they made for Disney Plus that they were bringing back the Disney afternoon shows. And that and there's there's more than on the list here. I made this little picture here, but they have DuckTales, uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, uh, Tailspin, Darkwing Duck, Gargoyles, which we're gonna talk about, Goof Troop, and Gummy Bears, which was really random. That was a Saturday morning show. I don't really remember that being a they, Disney afternoon, was they it? They actually, yeah, it was kind of weird. Okay, so the whole thing with the Disney television animation, I'm trying to remember. My memory's a little bit foggy, but I think it actually all started with Winnie the Pooh and Wuzzles. Welcome to Pooh, Con was it Welcome to Pooh Corner? No, the, uh, the no, new, new Adventures, Adventures of Winnie the, the Pooh. Pooh. And then they did Wuzzles. I do remember Wuzzles. And I think they were about the same time. And then they did uh, Gummy Bears. And that I was think always on Saturday, it, I remember. It was, and then I think when the Disney afternoon started, if I remember correctly, I don't have Wikipedia in front of me, people are like, oh, no, you're wrong. But if I remember correctly, then when they started the Disney afternoon with uh, DuckTales, which was designed just for the Disney afternoon, mm -hmm. they put gummy bears in there, too. Okay, did they? Reruns I don't remember. of gummy bears. But, they, but I yeah. know, I do remember, I, they I, had I Darkwing Duck, and I remember Tailspin, and you almost got the draw on, they did a Tailspin comic, but they didn't yeah, do it. Yeah, I don't know Chip if... Chip and Dale uh, Rescue Rangers... You there, there was word of yeah. Joe Books was apparently going to do a Tailspin comic, and uh, I, I was, a, I guess, going to try out for it. And it never happened. So, and Darkwing Duck, which you, you know, wouldn't it? That's a long story. That's a long story. You were yeah. First choice. Anyway, um, Gargoyles. This is what everybody's talking about. Because the other ones, you know, great. Darkwing Duck, I think, is really important too. Because everybody likes Darkwing Duck. This one and this one were the ah, I won't scroll. Were the two they really wanted. Gargoyles yeah. and Darkwing. Yeah, Gargoyles, I think, was... I mean, it came out about the same time as Batman, the animated series, and it was the same kind of a tone. It was a very serious... Uh, it was good. Yeah, it was very, very good. It was very, very serious for Disney Afternoon. It was not a typical Disney Afternoon show, which you know was mostly comedy. Um, it was actually an adventure. It had a really cool look to it. The characters were great. It has a massive fan base. Well, see, there's uh, a couple reasons it's problematic now. She's wearing this outfit and she's got red hair. So of course we gotta change that. <laughs> so, but no, Gargoyles was great. They did some graphic novels. I'm trying to remember. I think Slave Labor, Slave Labor Graphics did some graphic novels, uh, sequels to Gargoyles. But it was kind of one of those things where like everybody who saw the show loved this show, and it still has a pretty pretty massive it fan does. base. I'm just really hoping that you know Disney's rebooting everything. Part of me is like, okay, if they reboot Gargoyles don't ruin it people keep asking for a reboot of gargoyles or a live action one and i'm just i'm just i'm honestly i'm gonna be honest with you i would be very careful what you wish for at this point i would be totally yeah. careful what you wish for because look at all what happens when we get live action reboots or reboots of shows with these with these companies anymore we'll get gargoyles roar we'll yeah get, gargoyles roar. you know we'll get some ridiculous <laughs> it probably will be. like tumblr-esque gargoyles but uh very good show um goof troop uh, his son squid king loved goof troop uh, yeah he loved he loved yeah he loved max he, he, he was a big max fan of max and, and uh they never really explained what happened to the mom no, I don't it's like remember. how i met your mother so maybe it's got dark maybe it's got a really dark past like goof troop is like how i killed your mother and no, stuffed her body in a trunk i don't think goofy would do that 
He's not the type. Gosh, I don't know what happened to your mom, Max. <laughs> She disappeared one day. She just disappeared. And gummy bears, which never, like, I, I never. taught kids how to drink. Gummy berry juice. Gummy berry juice. And it was like, so it it's You get lots of powers when you drink Like, it. I could just see this in a rave. Like, here, drink this brightly colored juice. You know about... darn well there's a mixed drink called gummy berry juice. They snuck gummy berry juice into an episode of the DuckTales reboot. I heard about that, actually. I have to catch they up. Did. I haven't watched last season. I have to catch up, but I haven't had time. But, yeah, I mean, seriously, they were teaching kids to drink back then. Um... He's telling kids they could fly planes. Actually, I did fly a plane when I was a kid, but that's another story. I mean, my dad was there. He also, like, made sure he... We weren't allowed to take off and land. Well, hey, the, the nephews could fly planes and stuff, too. So, um, I'm just saying, but... Yeah. DuckTales was great. I love the original DuckTales. And they're uh, going to ruin Chip and Dale, remember? I told you they are going to reboot yeah, the Chip and Dale. I don't Dale. want that. I don't want that. They're, but they're putting the old one on there, too, so you have that. Yeah, I haven't watched the new season of DuckTales. They, they've, on uh, the new, the new, new DuckTales, they've apparently, they're sneaking all kinds of yeah. cameos in from all of these Disney Afternoon characters, so it's basically become like a potpourri of like all But that's the, what makes it awesome. Yeah, no more Supalami, though, which is probably good. No, no bonkers. Um... You know, those oh, I forgot about those. Pretty ones. terrible. No. I do remember those vaguely. Oh my goodness, I then, forgot. I haven't heard that in years. Then we started to get into the weird, like Aladdin the series. I remember the that. The Little Lion Mermaid, King, the Little Mermaid, and uh, you know, at that point, I was just like, guys, stop, just stop, stop it, stop it. But they're, you know, Disney never knows when to leave well enough alone. They, they're doing it with the the live action movies now too, where. They're basically, they become the cheap quals. Well, that's what's it. Like, we had the Eisner doing all the stuff he did, and I feel Iger is starting to do it, too. He's just doing it, he's just doing it with the live-action remakes. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's direct, instead of direct to, to DVD sequels, they're doing everything live-action. It's just as lazy. I'm sorry, but it is. Yeah, Make it is. Make those things. But this is cool. This is cool that, I mean, this, I gotta tell you, this is one of the reasons, you know, when they first announced Disney+, Plus. We were actually pretty excited about because we we're like, oh, they're gonna they're gonna bring back the Disney afternoon shows. They're gonna bring back all these classic Disney mm -hmm. Channel shows. You know, a lot of um, you know stuff like you know, like you were talking about, Welcome to Pooh Corner and all this. Like, yeah, we well, thought, well, that's that's not something I was just dying to watch. But you no, know. but I'm saying it would be cool to watch that. It would be cool to watch, you know, old uh, like World of Color episodes yeah. and have that you know archive that you could watch all this old Disney stuff. And then when they announced the the launch lineup, it was like, "What the crap is this?" Yeah, there wasn't much on it. But I don't, they didn't say when these were coming, though. Uh, they might have sensed then, so they wrote this. But when I wrote this, they didn't say when. They just said they were coming. So I'm hoping for their own sake, they put it at launch as launch titles because they're having some issues. I think this is part of yeah. This is part of the criticism I know when they announced uh, all the launch. Um, the launched uh, titles at D23 that a lot of uh, critics were like, what about Gen X? What about, you know, um, Millennials? What about, you know, these shows we grew up with and they weren't they weren't uh, mm -hmm. announcing anything. Anything yeah. that we grew up with in the 70s and 80s. These were actually... 90s. Late, yeah, early, I mean, well, DuckTales was 87. 80s, yeah. I'm trying to think it. DuckTales was 87. I want to say Chip and Dale was 88 or 89. Gargoyles Darkwing, was 90s, wasn't it? Yeah, Gargoyles yeah. was later. Darkwing Duck was after DuckTales had already finished. It was like 91. Yeah, um, so those were like yeah. some of those later. All right, so yeah, like you were saying, uh, Disney Plus needs all the help it can get because... Well, a couple things are going on here. One, Bob Iger stepped down the other day. This is interesting to me. I didn't know he was on the board, but he would have known about Apple Plus because they've been making original content. So he would have known about it the whole time. It isn't interesting that it's called Apple Plus and they called theirs Disney Plus. I don't know. I'm just saying it's a little weird. And then he's on their board, which I didn't know. And then they had this announced that they're going to launch this Apple Plus streaming service and they're going to launch it uh, like... On the 1st of November? So it's like yeah. almost like, that's 11 days ahead of the Disney Plus? Yeah, they're going to beat them to market and uh, Bob Iger stepping down. And You think he would have he known about this? If he was on the board, he should have known about all of this. Yeah, he probably did. I don't know if he knew. Is that, that a conflict of interest? Yeah, it's a conflict of interest. Well, it's happened with... Um, that's a shareholder, I think, is a conflict of interest. Yeah, I'm trying to think if it was Twitter or some other, or Facebook. One, one of the other, we had, uh, you know, some, there were some Disney people that left, I believe, or... Uh, somebody from Twitter left because they felt that Disney with getting into the streaming service, they were actually becoming a competitor mm -hmm. at this point, And they thought it was a conflict of interest. So he, he probably left. He's probably pissed because they beat him the market for all he knew. They were going to come out with it next year. I kept hearing next year, but, but here's the thing. He was on this board knowing they were calling it Apple plus knowing it was coming. I mean, you can't tell me they didn't know when it was coming. 
And then they would have had no before they made the announcement. And then unless they told him the whole time they wasn't, but that he would have known about all this stuff. He would know because he would have been on the board approving all the content they were making for it because they had to already have content in production. Yeah. He would have known this. So he that's a conflict of interest. If he's starting, so did he rip out the idea from them? They rip out the idea from him? I don't know. But I'm being saying, as a, a person that owns Disney stock, I think it's a little conflict of interest that the CEO of Disney was over on the, the Apple board while they were planning this stuff too. I mean, to me, that seems a little bit, hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's probably nothing wrong with it because I'm sure there's laws that are made to, to, to help these people. But you know what I'm saying? It just seems a little weird. He's been on the board since 2011. Yeah, well, I know that he kind of got involved, I think, with, uh, he got involved with um, Pixar. Yeah, because, that's what it says, yeah. Yeah, so I think that's where that, that came from. But, uh, yeah, so he's out. Um, they did kind of drop a bombshell. I knew, a lot of people knew Apple Plus was coming. They did not know when it was going to launch. And well, Apple, you're on the board, you would have known. Yeah, but Apple, they do this. They never really give people much notice. They're just like, oh, by the way, there's a new iPhone coming tomorrow. Right, they do that. They do that, but the board members would have known. Yeah, he would. So I'm just saying, it's a little weird. So speaking of which, this is something that we've been talking about uh, for a while. And now we talked about the other day that when Apple made the announcement of Apple Plus, Disney and Netflix stock dropped. Right. It dropped because people were like, oh, this isn't going to just be a a two-way battle between Disney and Netflix until, you know, HBO comes into it. Now we got Apple into it. So now we got like, it's like the Hobbit. We've got like the battle of five armies. It is. Disney, Netflix, HBO, Apple, and we've got uh, Amazon. So it is like. Oh yeah. And then NBC is going to have their own and, and CBS isn't Viacom. CBS going to have their own. Yeah. Yeah. They might just go in with the CBS. You know, everybody wants these streaming services to save money. And now it's going to probably cost you more than it did in the first place. I mean, you're going to spend $150 a month on all these streaming services. That's what you would have spent on, you know, a cable bill or, a, you know, Dish TV or whatever, right. TV. Or uh, just cut the cord and watch us. We're, it's free. Yeah, it's for now. Yeah, for now. Wait, for YouTube now. will get some. YouTube will cancel so many YouTubers and the ad revenue will be hard to come by. So they will start charging a subscription. Uh, subscription. I that's well, what YouTube Red was for. Well, they do, but they'll make it mandatory. Like, some content will be locked behind the paywall. Everybody will be locked behind the but paywall. But only people that are like PewDiePie and things like that. Yeah. They don't care about us. We'll still be free. We'll still be free. We don't, we don't matter. <laughs> Clownfish TV will always be free. Uh, Disney stock driven by Disney Plus presents a problem for investors. This is a problem. If Disney Plus doesn't perform... It's going to drag the whole company down. Oh, yeah, because they've, they've sunk too much into it. I mean, look at D23. It was There was about Epcot, which was good, but it mostly was the Disney Plus show. Mm-hmm. It was. I mean, we got, we got information about Marvel, the Marvel Land's coming, and we got information about Epcot's, re, you know, revitalization, if you want to call it that. But the, it was mostly the D23 uh, Expo. So this article from Yahoo Finance says, Diz Plus becomes a minus. Uh, investor place contributor said that uh, Disney stock trades on Disney Plus and presumably ESPN to a lesser extent. Um, so Diz stagnated between 2015 and 2019 as subscribers abandoned both Disney Channel and ESPN and droves right. in favor of streaming services. So it stands to reason that when the company introduces Disney Plus, the stock again began to take off. However, as noted, I think the rise and fall of Diz hinges on the promise of Disney Plus streaming, and they got a lot of competitors and stocks already dropping. To its credit, the managers of the Magic Kingdom have worked to mitigate this issue by adding Hulu Plus and the Hulu Plus Yeah, that's live smart. Bundle. That's smart. Because yeah. that's what we have is the Hulu Plus TV. Live yeah, TV which is okay. Stuff. It's yeah. okay. So there's still going to be... Hulu, which we actually watch more than anything, yeah. is still going to be connected to Disney. Yeah, so as an alternative to the current cost of $6.99 a month or $70 per year for an annual subscription, uh, the three-month commitment will cut the overall cost. So they want you to lock in for three years. Oh, I think that they now have a, a special, you know how they were doing it for, the, for people that were the D23 members? Uh, if you have the Disney Visa card, they were going to give you the deal too where you could pay for it for three years and, <sighs> and do that up front. Uh, I didn't do that, but I have the option. Yeah, so they're talking about how Disney stock is dropping. They said uh, they're talking about the, the misses at the theme parks. The lack of visitors to oh. Galaxy's Edge. What was the wait times today? That they're trying to say that? Oh no, no, because the hurricane. What was the wait time? Oh today? yeah, we'll talk about this more in another video. But thirty-five minutes for Smuggler's Run. And we're not talking at opening. We're talking at like eleven thirty, eleven, eleven thirty in the morning, which would have been kind of peak time. Yeah. And uh, it was thirty-five minutes compared to the Slinky Dog Coaster and Toy Story Land was fifty-five minutes. Hagrid was two hours, over two hours. Yep. You know, so yeah, it's. I'm sorry, they're not. They're not really beating down the door for Galaxy's Edge in Florida either. Mm-mm. And that's something Disney's been trying to say. Oh, Florida's going to be different. No, 
Not really. Um, so the overall financials offer little incentive to buy Disney stock. Assuming Wall Street estimates whole profit will fall by 18% this year. Almost 19%. That's bad. For fiscal 2020, they expect an increase of only 2%. We don't know what's going to happen at the end of the fiscal year because... We'll find out. It's coming up. The end of this month. Mm -hmm. I think if you're going to see some major changes, you're going to see some heads roll, you're going to see some companies get gone or divisions get consolidated, I think it's going to be at the end of this year. Get your popcorn ready because that's what it's going to hit. Oh, on a side note, I'm sorry. I just see this little thing on the side that says Disney Channel Latin America acquires Time Traveling Ballet Series. Time Traveling Yeah, but you know who would love that? We know who's going to love that. Our daughter? Yes. It's Paris. She's taking French now. It's Paris. It's ballet. It's time travel. Flipping yeah, she'll be all about that. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I'm <laughs> so sorry. I digress. Go. go back. She's going to uh, love that. So they're just talking about, yeah, they're losing, they're losing revenue and Disney Plus is not going to bail them out. It's going to be a really interesting year. I think, you know, I don't think Disney Plus is going to revive Disney the way that Disney thinks it's going to. No. And they literally have like bet the farm. They on really this have. They Because, I mean, they've overpaid for Fox. And then they're putting then they're putting money into this. And then speaking of you know price increases and stuff, which we'll talk about it again in the other video we're doing. Mm. They just announced they they're upping the price of the dessert parties for next year. Uh. I mean, eighteen percent and stuff like that. We'll talk about that in the next video we're gonna do about it. But you know, yeah, it's getting the point where Disney's trying to get as much blood out of the remaining rocks that they can, but they're right. losing rocks. Right. Uh, they're losing their <laughs> they're rocks. They're losing their rocks. So this I just thought was really interesting talking about Disney Plus. Of all the shows, of all the new shows that they have coming to Disney Plus, the two shows that people are most excited about are old shows. Yes, I saw this earlier. The Simpsons and Star Wars Rebels. Rebels was good. Uh, Rebels was good. Clone Wars was good. That's what people are looking forward to the most. Of all this new stuff that they're dumping gobs of money into, people want The Simpsons and people want Star, Star Wars, Wars Rebels. Rebels. Yep. Uh, they what else? Not... They have anything else they were listening that they were talking about? Um... No, not really. They said the analysis covered Australia, New Zealand, the Netherlands, U.S., and Canada. These are the countries where it's okay, going to roll yeah, out. it's going to roll out. I know all this stuff because I write about it all the time. It's going to roll out in the United States, Canada, and the Netherlands on November twelfth. It'll roll out in Australia and New Zealand on November nineteenth. Is that on there? I knew that by heart yeah. because I've done it too many times. Now they said the analytics said these are the top ones they wanted: The Simpsons, Star Wars Rebels, Mickey Mouse Club, Ducktales, and Andy Mac. They well, keep Andy, asking for Andy Mac. Everybody keeps asking for more Andy Mac. Well, Andy Mac was actually pretty popular. Um, I actually think, I, look, I'll tell you the truth. I actually think Andy Mac was pretty, pretty good. Uh, our daughter watches it, and I think it's uh, it's a pretty solid show. I think it's probably one of the most realistic yeah. teenage shows, preteen really shows. Like yeah, and it was it was okay. Unfortunately, they had a controversy because there's always controversy with these Disney actors uh, with the grandpa so, on the show. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. To, yeah, I don't know what happened to him. Um, the Mickey Mouse Club. Which Mickey Mouse Club? They talk about the new one that no one watches on YouTube. Are they talking about the one from the 80s? Are they talking about the original? I mean, which one are they talking know. about? Pro I would guess probably, the, I, if I had to guess, I would say probably the 90s one. They said everything's about the same in Australia and New Zealand except for Wicked Tuna. And where's yeah. that at? That was Par that was, can was in Canada. In the Netherlands, the top five were Star Wars Rebels, DuckTales, Mickey Mouse Club, and Wicked The Incredible Dr. Pole. That's actually a good show. Yeah, I've seen that before. It's good. Wicked Tuna. It's just so weird. You're like all these Disney shows and then Wicked Tuna because you forget what Disney owns. Look at Wicked Tuna. That's not the, that's not the, kind of, the image I get from Wicked Tuna is not what they intend. But it's so anyway, weird. Like so. of all the stuff that people, this is kind of weird because of all the stuff that people are like, what are you most excited about? They're not saying the Mandalorian. No. They're not saying the more upcoming Marvel shows. No. Nope. They just want the Simpsons and they want uh, Star Wars Rebels. When you so. said Simpsons, all I could hear in my head was the Simpsons. It was so yeah, I they're... That came out. I feel so old now. Uh, Disney's gonna totally ruin the Simpsons. Well, don't let them. They, they not, will. They're you not know making they will. a new one. They're better not take over. Not take over the new stuff. Uh, you you know they're gonna ruin Probably. it. They're going to ruin it. Um, okay, so we gonna wrap this one up. Yes, but good news: Darkwing Duck and Gargoyles and Disney Afternoon shows are coming. Um, like Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers and all that's popular too. But Gargoyles and Darkwing Duck are the two everybody asked for. Yeah. And they're coming. I don't know when, but they're coming to Disney+. Plus. If anybody cares, I don't know if anybody's going to care by the time that they come out. I don't know. We'll see. So we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more pop culture news, views, and rants. This has been Neon and Geeky. Bye. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. 
ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.